You know, in today's world, there's nothing that we, uh, as the U.S. military, are going to do alone. Um, we need those relationships every bit as much as our partners do. Um, and so the ability to work both with European partners and allies and African partners and allies seeking African solutions, con continue to uh, build that uh, understanding and, and ability within us to work with our partners. And frankly, we learn a lot from them. Um, we, I believe we can share some lessons with our partners, but I think we learn every bit as much from them um, in, in how they uh, conduct activities, conduct operations uh, in this environment against this threat. So it's a mutual learning experience. Now, I just, again, I just appreciate um, the partnership uh, with uh, you know, our African partners and our European partners and being able to bring them together. So this provides a great, great environment for that. Uh, one that's both uh, relevant uh, with the current threats, uh, but also uh, provides great flexibility in, in how we execute. So again, just a great, great opportunity for us. Flintlock's incredibly powerful because it's really about building relationships. Um, if you look at the, the threat uh, that these countries face here in Africa, the threats from violent extremist organizations, uh, they transcend borders. Um, there's no borders to the terrorists, and so uh, we need to work with our partners here to create those relationships that um, are able to address that threat as, it, as the threat is uh, particularly spreading south. So when you look at these coastal countries particularly, um, we, they see the threat spreading towards their borders and in some cases even coming across their borders. And so the ability for them to work together is incredibly important. Um, and particularly when you look at special operations. Special operations, we say our, our first soft truth is humans are more important than hardware. And when you look at that human, the importance of the human, it's those human relationships that are really most important. So while the training itself is important, it's the relationships they're building uh, that we believe will continue to see effects in the future. I just want to add, you know, for uh, all the contributing nations, all of our African partners, all of our allies that are down here, I appreciate everyone's support. I, pr I appreciate everybody's participation. This is important. This is our number one priority at SOCAF right now because this, more than anything, contributes to our partnerships and slows, again, the expansion of Al-Qaeda into the littorals, into coastal West Africa. Flitlock allows us an opportunity on the continent to build tighter relationships with our African partners and our allies. It's a remarkable experience down here. We will continue to invest in this because each year we, we see an increased capability from our African partners and we get closer and closer with our allies. I want to highlight the fact that while this partnership is taking place and there's a huge amount of positive energy and activity happening here at Flintlock, it also contributes to the United States overall mission and with our allies of slowing the expansion of Al Qaeda from the Sahel into coastal West Africa. And so this mission, this exercise has the intent of building partnerships and increasing capability within these African nations in coastal West Africa, but it also is a message to Al Qaeda that we're not going to tolerate expansion into the littorals. I think the partnerships and really the integration that happens during Flintlock is important because it helps us see and find seams, whether it's our ability to communicate with one another, our ability for, to be more interoperable uh, in the field. Uh, and that takes place with both our African partners and our European partners, our, our allies. Uh, it's it's incredible opportunity to get out in the field, work with each other, test our tactics, test our equipment, test our communications, and really take it to the next level of integration. So if we do have to go into conflict, or if we do, are we continuing to build partner capacity here, we know where our shortfalls are and we're able to address them. So Flintlock, Hugely important for the integration, hugely important for the partnership, but also a really important part of us identifying where we have gaps and seams in our capability in our partnership with our African nations. My name is Sergeant William Coldicott. So my job title here is a communications sergeant. Um, basically what that means is I'm here from the SOCAF signal detachment to um, you know, set up communications for this exercise, Flintlock. Uh, it has a pretty big impact on a uh, pretty much everything that has to do with the, the exercise. Uh, we provide computers, uh, radios, 
and everything that the joint um, exercise communications group and the uh, joint multinational headquarters, uh, you know, needs.